Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I am here with a really exciting update for my Project 5 Uses Project Pan. For this Project Pan, I decided that I wanted a way to work through my Oh The Shame makeup basket and that is Oh my gosh, it's a shame I'm not using you. It's all the new stuff that I've bought or things that have been gifted to me and I put them all in that basket and I reach in and I pull things out to try for this project. This is a great way for me to decide, is it a great, is it a good shade for me? Do I like it or not? Do I want to declutter it before it goes into my collection and it just sits there and I don't use it? So I've really enjoyed this project for that. And um, yeah, I think I have a great update for you guys. So let me get into it. So for the first product I have is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I had this in for five uses, of course. I'm not going to say that. And as of last month, I had used it three times, and I used it the rest of the way this month. I love this as an eye primer. Um, it definitely can be used as a shadow as well. I used it also to buff out things in my crease that I wanted to blend better, but I really loved it as one of those products to use as a primer. And so that's where I'm gonna put it in my collection. I'm gonna put it in the eye primer category, and when I need to pull out my next eye primer, this will be it. So I really enjoyed that. It doesn't move either. Once you put it down, it um, stays, which is awesome. Then I had in my, I had two liners from Sephora. I had in a shimmer a slate, gray, a slate gray, and I had a matte cobalt blue. So let me show you. The slate gray, um, as of last month, I had used it four times, and as of this month, it is rolling out, I used it the five times. And then the cobalt blue, um, as of last month, I had used it twice, and as of this month, I had used it three times. So there they are right there. There's the slate gray, and there's the cobalt blue. They are beautiful liners. These are the Sephora 12-hour retractable eyeliners, and I do want to purchase more when the Sephora sale comes back around because I really enjoy the formula. It's got a nice little smudger on the end. They're really nice and creamy, but they don't go anywhere. They are waterproof but they're easy to get off at the end of the day, and that to me is huge. So the gray one is gonna be going back into my collection. The cobalt blue one is gonna be sticking around for a couple more uses. Then I had in this Glaminatrix Cosmetics single in the shade Earth. This was gifted to me by Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock, and it is gorgeous. Look at this flip. So it goes from like this yellowy green to like this purpley blue. It is so gorgeous. I'm wearing it today and I love using this as an all over lid shade, but also I like putting this on top of other things. I really wanna pick up some more Glaminatrix singles. These are gorgeous. I have a couple Glaminatrix palettes. I also love them, but I, as of last month, had only used it three times and I got the other two uses in. So it's rolling out, but I'm glad to have it in my um, singles repertoire, if you will. Then I had in this single from MAC, it's the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in Smoky Mauve. This was gifted to me by Jen from Project Beauty. This is also a lovely shade. I found that I really liked this in my transition area as well. Um, Jen really didn't get a lot of payoff from it, but I, I really did on my skin. I'm paler than her though, so that's probably why, but it's a really lovely shade. And I'm really excited to put it into my singles and um, you know my potted singles and rotated into other projects because it's lovely and I really do enjoy it. So I, I, I lucked out with some eyeshadows this month. As of last month, I had only used it twice and then as of this month, I used it an additional three times so it's rolling out. Up next, I had my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. Now, I was really reluctant to try this. As of last month, I had used it three times and then I used it the additional uses to now I'm rolling it out. Um, I had heard that this was something that went on and then it just like disappeared and people really got no payoff from it. There it is right there. It's really lovely. 
Um, I did not find that. This is turning out, this was turning out to be one of my favorite cream bronzers. It's just on the border of it be pulling too warm, but it's not. So I really love this because I have been um, going through my bronzers this year and I've decluttered a few because they pulled too warm and they made me look orange. So I'm really glad to have this one in as a cream option because it doesn't pull warm on me. It's really lovely. So I'm happy about that. It's rolling out but I'm really glad that I got a chance to use it. Then I have this Quo Cheek and Lip Multi-Stick in the shade Sienna. This was another gift from Jen. She was so generous with my birthday gift this year, and this was one of the sticks she had sent me. I told her I really wanted to try Quo, and so she sent this to me. This is definitely a Kim shade. It is so beautiful, and last month I had used it three times, and I did use it the additional two times, and it is really rolling out, unfortunately, but I really like it. Then I have in the St. Angels and Sinners Cosmetics Times Funny Butter. This is a blush called Best Buds. This is utterly gorgeous. Shelly sent this to me for my birthday. I definitely would not have purchased this, but it is a beautiful shade. It is pigmented, though. Woo, is it pigmented. I literally need the slightest tap of my brush and it like gives me tons of color. I love this shade though, so I'm really glad that I played around with it because again, it's not something I would have purchased on my own. I think I would have been like really afraid like, oh my God, it's so orange, it's not gonna look good on me, but I really am enjoying it. So I'm glad I have this in my collection. I also have never tried anything from St. Angels and Sinners, so I was really pleased to be able to try that out. Um, so I've used it three times. It's sticking around in the project. Then I have this Milani Cream Blush Palette from Jen. It's the Cheek Kiss Blush Palette. I will swatch these. Um, I have, of course, a goal to use it five times. And so far I've used it twice. So it is going to stick around. Those are the three shades. And this is a really pretty blush palette. They go on beautifully and they really are a nice pigment. Um, so far my favorite one is this first one here, but they're all very lovely. I've worn them all. So, um, I mixed two of them at one time and then I used this, um, brighter one on its own and I've used them both under makeup and over, um, like as an under my foundation look and then over and they perform very well both ways. So I'm excited to use that another three times because I've really been enjoying it. Um, and then last is my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And I purchased this from um, TJ Maxx. It was all unused. And I have used this two times. So it is going to be sticking around. And I've used it for this shade. I'm going to swatch. I'm just going to swatch that shade for you. I have used this as a shimmery bronzer. And it is really beautiful. So there it is right there. I do have it on today. And I was really nervous that it was going to... Um, just be too um, shimmery, but it's not. I really am enjoying that, and it's a really good tone for me. It goes well with this tan lines one as well. I'm not using that today. I'm using my um, Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, but I'm really pleased with the Sun Dipped palette. I have used one of the highlighters as well, and it did a really nice job. Okay, I'm scrubbing this liner to get it off because I want to show you what I'm bringing in, and it is taken a lot of work to get these suckers off so they definitely go on and what I like about the liners as well is they don't travel for me under my eye like some other ones do but I digress I was talking about the ABH glow kit which is lovely so let me show you what I'm bringing into this project I'm really excited because I was able to roll six things out I'm able to roll six things in now I had a really hard time because I really wanted to dip into my brand new stuff that I got in Vegas, but I held myself back and I went for the older new, the older new stuff. Yeah, because I wanted to get through some of the new this stuff. So let me gather these and I will let you know what I'm bringing in, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so the first thing I'm bringing in is this Well People Supernatural Stick. It's a multi-use blush in the shade Barely Bay. 
and there we go. It's cute. It's got the green, and there is the stick, and there is the shade. It's really pretty. Um, so I'm curious to see how it goes on. I'm curious to see if it um, stays or if it is, you know, one of those that rubs off. So I will let you know my thoughts on this next update. And then I'm putting in this Cleona Crystalline shade. This is a duochrome Cleona shadow, and this was gifted to me from Jen. And there it is right there. It's like a periwinkle bluey purple. It is so beautiful. So I'm excited to get some use on that. It's one of my, like, I love purples, and I love purples and greens on me. So I am always happy to put a purple shadow in my collection. So I'm curious to try that one and see how I like it. And then up next is a concealer for uh, from Arbonne that my mom gifted me in the shade light. She It just really didn't work for her so she wanted to see if it would work for me and I am worried that it's not going to really work for me either. It's quite dark even though it's light um, and I would primarily use it on my under eyes. I don't have like blemishes. I'm really lucky. So I really only need concealers for under my eyes. So I'm going to try it, but it might be, end up being dis decluttered. Um, next up, I have my KVD Dazzle Stick in the shade Hail Surge. Hail Surge. This is I'm bringing in because um, Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock was just talking about how she was using a Dazzle Stick on her eyes and she really liked it. Oh, M G. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So, okay, okay. I'm really excited to use this. Of course, the five times to see how it works. Yay. Okay. Five times. That's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Woo. So I'm curious to see, like, does it set down? It looks like you can still, like, like buff it out. So I'm curious to see how well it, that sets down. And then I'm bringing in next my Victoria Beckham liner in the shade. This is the satin Kajal liner in the shade bronze. I am super excited to try this. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while and had enough shop app points that I was like, ooh, I can get one for free. So here it is swatched out that's gorgeous so I'm excited to try that and then last but not least I'm bringing in my Sydney Grace liquid shadow in the shade destination wedding um I'm not really a person who does liquid shadows so this is something that'll probably last me the rest of my life so if I don't end up using it then I can at least pass it on while it's still good so there's the shade and I'm gonna kind of buff it out oh that's lovely so we'll see. We'll see how I like it. Um, again, I'm not one for liquid um, shadows or shadow sticks or anything like that, but I do want to get some use out of this stuff and see how it does for me. So yeah, that is my update for my Project 5 uses. Let me know if you've tried any of this new stuff and let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.